Okay, you guys, so check this out. I haven't done an update for Kaboom Viper for a long time. I want to show you how cool they're looking. When we got these guys, I'm so excited. I haven't already unlocked it. But I gotta get that thing. Come on, there you go. Check it out. So the girl is getting bigger and bigger. The boy is kind of staying the same size. Come on. Of course, Gaboom Vipers are really fast. They're one of the more dangerous in the respects of the speed of their bite. Um, and if you haven't watched our channel before, Gaboom Vipers have long fangs, the longest fang of any venomous snake in the world. So I'll be a little bit careful. I don't really like this long hook. I kind of like my short hook, but I want to at least get them to come out. And uh, so these live on the rain in the forest, the rainforest in the in uh, Africa. And uh, these are these are the oh come on these are South African type. Look at that. So the boy's coming out first. I'm gonna pull them both out. So look at that. Is that incredible or what? And then the pattern is amazing, but the female is even cooler looking. Come on, girl. Look at that pattern. So that pattern. This pattern is literally mimics the, the rainforest bottom because the rainforest has all those leaves and all the different cover leaves from all the different layers of trees and branches and things growing and growing and all the different leaves colors. So they have a lot of earth tones. Come on, girl. Now, like I said, these are actually one of the fastest vipers there are, especially left to right. So I want to go ahead and block this direction. Come on, girl. I want to kind of tie up her neck a little bit to get her out. Look at that. Now, a girl like this can sport a solid two inches long fangs, and the amount of venom that they can actually shoot at one time out into their prey is astonishing. Uh, it's, it's not the most. There's some. There's a couple, a couple different animals that are way, way, way. I mean, just put a lot of venom out in the bite. But you can see the patterns are really cool. They got the crosses, the hourglasses going down the back. It's got that typical viper, heavy body. It's got the, it's got, and now they're called, they used to be called rhino vipers. And uh, because of this rhino horns right here, but these are now considered kaboom vipers. Uh, Jack viper, I think is another name for them. And uh, <laughs> you can see they vary on coloration, probably depends on their original lineage. Because when they get more silver, they're probably more around a little bit of a drier area and a little bit more color is probably a more colorful area. Now, I'm not positive of that, but generally speaking, they live in zones that they're going to camouflage good in. So a lot of different animals, like the funny part is we keep breaking down animals into more and more, gen more, and more localities. So I don't know the exact locality, but I will tell you, they both have long fangs. They both have a lot of them. Uh, some people confuse venomous with poisonous because there's no such thing as a poisonous snake, but there is a poisonous frog. There is a poisonous plant because you guys, you figure out what's different, right? A snake has venom because it injects you like a spider or a tarantula, or a, even a bee is actually venomous. It's, it's injecting you with, with a type of venom, but you know, like a jellyfish stings you, right? <laughs> but these actually, but other animals that are poisonous are things that you eat and like plants and different foods and different things like that. You always see the person adding the poison in the bad movie to murder somebody. So that goes in a drink or in your food. So I'm going to actually lift this girl up so you can see how heavy bodied she is. And uh, I'm going to I'm going to use this hook to kind of, I don't always use this hook because I actually like my other hook, but this is actually a venomous hook. The venomous hook has a round dip in it because that gives, remember I told you how they're the fastest left to right? Well, guess what? She can't go left and she can't go right. But look how incredible that is. Is that an incredible snake or what? Man, just the beauty is unbelievable. That wide, broad head and that long side is to hide those big fangs. And uh, they're, they, the large fangs are for a couple reasons. So <clears throat> animals that live on, you know, they, different kinds of venomous animals need different types of fangs. So some venomous animals have rear fangs and it's mostly for killing lizards and things like that. But now, when you get these long fangs that the Kaboom Vipers have, it's actually to kill like birds of prey, uh, birds and stuff like that because birds have like a bulletproof vest on, they got all that feather, all those feathers and all those different things. But these guys, those fangs go right through all that, right into where they need to and they disperse that venom and boom, they're done. Now, unlike a lot of venomous animals, a rattlesnake will strike its prey 
and then it'll actually, they're a pit viper, right? They'll strike the prey and purposely let go of it and just wait around. And then they use those pits and all that sensing with the tongue and they'll go follow down and go eat their food after wherever it dies. These guys have those giant fangs. You know, I don't, I'm not sure why they're designed with those giant fangs, but I will tell you, the first time I ever fed one, I was blown away because it literally jabs those things in and it does not let go. It just starts pumping that venom in and it just hangs on to it no matter what that, whatever it's eating is jumping around, it doesn't, it just hangs on to one of those big fangs like hooks, like shark hooks, and they do not get away. And uh, when it's all done, they just swallow the food as soon as it's dead. It doesn't take very long, it's pretty quick. And uh, I just wanted to share these amazing animals because I find them to be beautiful, intriguing, but very dangerous. So if the rule of dangerous snakes is real simple. Don't mess with them. I'm doing this because I want to teach you guys a few things about animals. Now, if I was to see one of these in the wild, I would highly recommend don't take off running. What I want you to do is carefully walk away, observe it from a safe distance, and make sure you don't step on another one. Most people get bit by snakes are either trying to mess with them or they're running away from one or they just sometimes get unlucky because you can step on anything. And if you step on one, he's gonna bite you. It's just the way it is. You might get lucky and get a dry bite because believe it or not, they're in full control of their venom. They can bite just to run you off and not want to eat you and just boom. I don't know, I got bit once and I will tell you, not by a doom lifer, but a rattlesnake. And I'll just tell you, I wasn't lucky with a dry bite. So anyway, be safe, be careful, and whatever you do, find whatever you like and do it. Anyway, living the dream, guys. Hope you hope you're enjoying the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out. The Boon Viper style.